with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. With a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. Give Okay, good. <clears throat> yes. Um, you can put it around your neck if. Uh, around the back of your neck if you want. Okay. And then it probably. Oops. Yeah, I'm on. <laughs> yeah. So. And you can I don't have tilt to it down so it's not out of the way of the flute. And it'll pick up the food. I don't have to worry about turning the phone off or go. No, right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Keep it in your pocket, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah, in case I walk off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Martin, don't let me walk off because I don't have a pocket for that right now. Sing. Whoops, that's a lot. <laughs> to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Jesus has died to set us free. Jesus has died to set us free. Thus has died. Hallelujah. Jesus has died to set us free. That's the one that was A minor, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Good afternoon to all. Buenas tardes a todos. Este cuarto domingo después de la Epiphania, the fourth Sunday after Epiphany. And uh, we're thankful to be gathered again to hear his word and to receive the Lord's Supper, his his sacrament of his love and forgiveness to us all that he gives to us. Este sacramento del altar que nos ofrece el perdón por medio de su 
cuerpo, su sangre. The, the ways of God and his, his, his thinking is so above ours, and uh, he chooses the simple things, the weak things, the, the things which, which are not to, to also make, make um, uh, void the things that are. So he chooses simple bread, chooses simple wine, to give us his very body and blood. We're going to hear about that in uh, the, the reading from Corinthians today. That uh, the foolishness of the cross and the wisdom of God. All right? Okay. So let's uh, begin by singing a few songs to get started. Um, all right. We can do I am a C. And uh, we've got some helpers here. <laughs> and we have Jesus in our heart. And that's, that is uh, the message of Christ crucified in you. He is in us. He is with us. And he gives to us everything that he has. His righteousness, his sanctification, redemption, his wisdom. And so as followers of Christ, we have these beautiful gifts always. I am a C. I am a C H. I am a C H R I S T I A N. And I have C H R I S T in my H E A R T. And I will L I V E E T E R L A L L Y. I am a C. I am a C H. I am a C H R I S T I A N. And I am C-H-R-A-S-D in my H-E-A-R-T and I L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-L-A-L-L-Y I am a C, I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-A-S-D-I-E-N And I am C-H-R-A-S-D in my H-E-A-R-T and I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-L-A-L-L-Y During Epiphany, durante Epiphania, we hear different miracles that Jesus is the Son of God. He has power to heal people, to raise the dead, to even calm storms. His first miracle is changing water to wine. And so this is a, <clears throat> a miracle that he did right after he had his Sermon on the Mount. We're going to be focusing on that. Jesus calms the storm. Okay? Well, listen to the video now. After a long day of teaching, Jesus and his disciples were getting ready to head back home. They got into their boat to sail across the lake. But as soon as they pushed off from shore, a whispering wind grew into a blustering storm. Without warning, huge waves swelled up like moving mountains, pushing the boat up and down. The disciples were terrified and thought the boat was about to sink. The disciples' fear grew more intense as they realized that the storm was getting bigger. They grabbed onto anything that provided stability. As all of this was taking place, Jesus was sound asleep inside the boat. The disciples forgot that they were in the company of Jesus, who had power of all the elements, even deadly storms. One of the disciples decided to check on Jesus and found him asleep. Even with the raging storm wreaking havoc to the boat, Jesus was calm. They needed his help. Teacher, his disciples shouted in his ear, don't you care that we're all dying? Jesus calmly stood up and looked at the furious storm. He was not scared. He was not shaken. He didn't even look surprised. Peace, be still. He shouted into the raging, blinding blackness of the storm. Then, suddenly, the growling and snapping of the storm stopped. With scarcely another drip, the rain was gone. The clouds scurried away. The sea settled into a peaceful pane of glass, and the fear of dying was gone. Jesus saved them. With shock, they looked around at the absolute calmness of everything. Jesus had simply spoken, and the storm was gone. The terrifying fear of the storm was replaced by a reassuring fear of Jesus. Who is this? 
that even the wind and sea obey him? They asked in wonder. Yet again, Jesus proved to them that he was the Son of God, and their faith grew stronger. Jesus was asleep on, in the boat, true man, uh, dormido in la barca. He was a true man. He, he, he needed to rest, just like us, but at the same time, true God. Authority over all creation. With a simple word, he calmed the storm. All right, we'll sing now another song, His Banner Over Me, His Love. His forgiveness gives us peace with God. Now we're going to hear the story of, of Jesus. Vamos a escuchar la historia de Jesús camando la tempestad. Tras un largo día de enseñanzas, Jesús y sus discípulos se preparaban para volver a casa. Se subieron a su barca para navegar por el mar de Galilea. Tan pronto como se alejaron de la orilla, un viento susurrante se convirtió en una tempestuosa tormenta. Sin previo aviso, grandes olas crecieron como montañas en movimiento, empujando la barca hacia arriba y abajo. Los discípulos estaban aterrorizados y pensaban que estaban a punto de hundirse. El temor de los discípulos se hacía más intenso según la tormenta iba creciendo. Se aferraban a cualquier cosa que pareciera estable. Mientras sucedía todo esto, Jesús estaba profundamente dormido dentro de la barca. Los discípulos olvidaron que estaban acompañados por Jesús, quien tenía poder sobre todos los elementos, incluso sobre mortales tormentas. Uno de los discípulos fue a ver a Jesús y lo encontró dormido. Incluso con los estragos que estaba causando la tormenta en la barca, Jesús estaba en calma. Ellos necesitaban su ayuda. «¡Maestro!», gritó su discípulo. «¿No te importa que vayamos a morir todos?». Jesús se puso de pie tranquilamente y miró a la furiosa tormenta. Él no tenía miedo, no se tambaleaba, incluso no se le veía sorprendido. 
¡Detente! Le gritó a la furiosa y cegadoramente oscura tempestad. Entonces, de pronto, los gruñidos y estallidos de la tormenta se detuvieron. Con apenas otro goteo, la lluvia había desaparecido. Las nubes se desvanecieron. El mar entró en una profunda calma y el miedo a morir desapareció. Jesús los salvó. Con sorpresa, mirando a su alrededor la absoluta calma de todo. Jesús simplemente había hablado y la tormenta se había ido. El terrorífico miedo a la tempestad fue reemplazado por un miedo tranquilizador a Jesús. ¿Quién es este que hasta el viento y el mar lo obedecen? Preguntaron maravillados. Una vez más, Jesús les demostró que era el Hijo de Dios y su fe se fortaleció. ¿Quién es ese que tiene poder sobre la tempestad, que puede calmar tempestad y hacer paz? Pues es Jesús, el que es creador del mundo y verdadero hombre, ahí dormido en la barca. ¿No te importa que estamos pereciendo? Sí importa, Jesús. Yes, it matters. Doesn't it matter to you that we're going to die? Of course it matters. For that very reason, Jesus came to save us. To give his life. Sí, me importa porque amo a ustedes. Y entonces, él vino para rescatarnos, salvarnos, a hacer paz con su sacrificio en la cruz. So we'll sing now together. Um, ¿Quién es ese? Who is this? As the question rose from the disciples that he even has the power to calm the storms. Ese que camina en las aguas, ¿quién es ese que a los sordos hace oír? ¿Quién es ese que a los muertos resucita? ¿Quién es ese que su nombre quiero oír? Es Jesús, es Jesús, Dios y hombre que nos guía con su luz. Es Jesús. Ese que a los mudos hace hablar, quien es ese que da paz a la herida y pecados con su muerte perdonó. Es Jesús, es Jesús, Dios y hombre que nos guía con su luz. Es Jesús, es Jesús, Dios y hombre que nos guía Ese que los monstruos ha llegado, quién es ese Salvador y Redentor, quién es ese que su Espíritu nos deja y transforma nuestra vida con su amor. Es Jesús, es Jesús, Dios y hombre que nos guía con su luz. Es Jesús. Es Jesús, Dios y hombre que nos guía con su luz. ¿Quién es ese que nos da su sangre y cuerpo? ¿Quién nos ama con perdón que es sin igual? ¿Quién nos llama que dejemos el pecado? Así vamos a servirle solo a Él. Es Jesús, es Jesús. Dios y hombre que nos guía con su luz, es Jesús, es Jesús, Dios y hombre que nos guía con su luz. All right, we'll sing now together, Spirit of God, you'd like to stand up for this one, si se quiere pararse por favor. by the power of the Holy Spirit that we receive the amazing gifts which Jesus won in the cross. 
for all people. He gives it to us through our, our, our baptism, sealing it, and filling us with his life, his love. And that's what this song is about. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart, confess our sins unto God our Father, asking Him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, you forgave the guilt of my sin. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us. Renew us and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God in his mercy has given his Son to die for you, and for his sake forgives you all your sins. As a call and ordained servant of Christ, and by the authority 
I therefore forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ora confessamos nuestros pecados a Dios. Oh Dios, nuestro Padre Celestial, confieso que he pecado gravemente contra ti de muchísimas maneras, no solamente con transgresiones manifiestas, sino también con pensamientos y deseos conocidos. Sinceramente, me arrepiento de esos delitos que ahora me pesan y te suplico que en tu gran bondad que tengas misericordia de mí y me ayudes clementemente en mis flaquezas. Amén. Dios Todopoderoso, nuestro Padre Celestial, ha tenido misericordia de nosotros y por causa de los sufrimientos, misericordia y su resurrección de su amado Hijo Jesucristo, nuestro Señor, nos perdona todos nuestros pecados. A los que creen en Él les hace hijos de Dios. Y en vista de la confesión que han hecho yo como ministro de la iglesia de Jesucristo, os anuncio la gracia y el perdón de Dios en lugar del Señor Jesucristo. Y por mandato de Él, os perdono todos sus pecados. En el nombre del Padre y del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. We confess your faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. We'll sing, Our God is an awesome God. Creo en Dios Padre Todopoderoso, Creador del cielo y de la tierra, y en Jesucristo, su único Hijo, nuestro Señor, 
que fue concebido por obra del Espíritu Santo, nació de la Virgen María, padeció bajo poder de Poncio Pilatos, fue crucificado, muerto y sepultado, descendió a los infiernos, al tercer día resucitó de entre los muertos, subió a los cielos y está sentado a la diestra de Dios Padre Todopoderoso, y desde allí ha de venir a buscar a los vivos y los muertos. Creo en el Espíritu Santo, la Santa Iglesia Cristiana, la comunión de los santos, el perdón de los pecados, la resurrección de la carne y la vida perdonable. Amén. Ahora sigamos cantando poderoso para salvar, Mighty to Save in Spanish. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him. Then he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you, and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please be seated, and we'll sing now a song uh, called the Beatitudes song. We 
God, the salt of the earth will shake, shake, shake like a salt shaker. We are the light of the world, will shine, shine, shine till the night's no more. We'll shine, shine, shine till the night's no Lecciones de San Mateo 5. Viendo la multitud subió al monte y sentándose vinieron a él sus discípulos y abriendo su boca les enseñaba diciendo, Bienaventurados los pobres en espíritu porque de ellos es el reino de los cielos. Bienaventurados los que lloran porque ellos recibirán consolación. Bienaventurados los mansos porque ellos recibirán la tierra por heredad. Bienaventurados los que tienen hambre y sed de justicia, porque ellos serán saciados. Bienaventurados los misericordiosos, porque ellos alcanzarán misericordia. Bienaventurados los de limpio corazón, porque ellos verán a Dios. Bienaventurados los que padecen persecución por causa de la justicia, porque de ellos es el reino de los cielos. Bienaventurados sois cuando por mi causa os vituperen y os persiguen. Y digan toda clase de mal contra vosotros, mintiendo. Gozaos y alegraos, porque vuestro galardón es grande en los cielos. Porque así persiguieron a los profetas que fueron antes de vosotros. Esa es la palabra del Señor. Demos gracias a Dios. Ahora cantamos Alabaré. We're going to sing now, um, I will praise the Lord. Alabaré. And on this song we... We see the vision of, of St. John of Revelation and uh, the saints in heaven, those who, um, as God says in the Beatitudes, are pure in heart. They shall see God uh, pure in heart because of their faith in Jesus who has forgiven them all their sins. And so it's a beautiful song, and we'll sing it together. <laughs> Señor 
number of all the redeemed and all were singing praises to the Lord. Thousands were played, ten thousand and rejoicing, and all were singing praises to the God. Alabare, alabare. Amen. And how blessed are we to be believers in Jesus. Tan bendecidos somos ser un creyente en Cristo. Bendecidos ahora y para la eternidad, gracias al Señor. Ese sermón en el monte de, eh, en el monte de eh, Cristo dio a la gente, entonces mostraba la bendición de ser un seguidor de Cristo. En todo momento tenemos en nuestra posesión la vida, el reino de los cielos, por nuestro arrepentimiento y nuestra creencia en el Señor. Seem like total paradoxes to, the, to, to us as we hear these, these blessings uh, that Jesus tells us today, the Beatitudes, that those who are poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, being poor and yet having the greatest gift of heaven, 
being meek, and yet uh, you, you have inheritance of the earth, and, and on and on, the, the, the opposites that we hear. God's wisdom is above our, our wisdom. La sabiduría de Dios es más que nuestro entendimiento. Que uno que es pobre tiene ahorita mismo el cielo en su posesión. Qué increíble. And this is from our epistle reading from, from today too, from 1 Corinthians. As we hear, the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. What a paradox. Foolishness, a cross. A dead man on a cross is the power of God to save us. En nuestro epístola de hoy, escuchamos de 1 Corintios, me explico, el mensaje de la cruz es una locura. Para los que se pierden, en cambio, para los que se salven, es decir, para nosotros, este mensaje es el poder de Dios. Lo que parece para el mundo algo de locura es realmente el poder de Dios para salvar. Y así lo hizo por medio de su Hijo Cristo. So Paul is talking to the Corinthians in our epistle reading from today. As he says, think about your calling when you were called by God. Who were you? Were you somebody who was famous? Were you rich? Were you powerful? Were you an aristocrat? aristocrat? Well, go ahead, take a little walk on memory lane. <laughs> right? Think about your position in life. Well, Pablo está diciendo los corintios que, que hay, hace recordar de su llamamiento. ¿Cómo estaba cuando uno fue llamado de Dios? And so Paul says, consider your calling, brethren, that there were not many were wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble. The people in Corinth, the people, normal people like you and me, work, workers and uh, people who weren't famous for anything, didn't maybe have a lot of money, and they didn't have uh, any Nobel Peace Prize winners there, any Rhodes Scholars. Uh, Athens was uh, the city where there's a lot of the Greek thinkers, a lot of the a lot of philosophy going on, but, it, but Corinth was just a port city with, with hardworking uh, uh, workers uh, and there are a lot of different types of people there gathering. But God chose the, the people who were not really looked upon highly as the people that he wanted to be his, his children of God. Cristo, entonces, uh, Dice que, Pablo dice, pues mirad, hermanos, vuestra vocación, que no sois muchos sabios según la carne, ni muchos poderosos, ni muchos nobles, sino que lo necio del mundo escogió Dios para avergonzar a los sabios. Y lo débil del mundo escogió Dios para avergonzar a lo fuerte. What seems weak, what seems like nothing, God chose in order to shame what the world considers as powerful and which is what is, what is great. And so, consider your calling. Are you a famous person? Are you someone who's powerful, rich? Are you someone who, who comes from blue blood? <laughs> Ustedes uh, consideran su propio vida. Ustedes son personas ricos, poderosos, personas famosos, personas que vienen de un linaje, linaje real, Pues, la verdad es que somos personas normales, ¿verdad? Somos personas como la gente en Corintio. Y al mismo tiempo, como la gente en Corintio, nosotros también somos pecadores. At the same time, like the people in Corinth, we are also sinners. And that's how God found us. He found us as poor, helpless sinners, como gente pecadora sin poder de ayudarnos. Así, Isaías nos dice, Isaiah says, we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and all we do fade as a leaf, and our, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. This describes us, isn't it? Our filthy rags, our hearts unclean, and our lives just taken away, blowing away in the wind. I see. Es la vida de un, de un hombre, una mujer en ese mundo. Isaiah says, 
that we are like filthy rags. Our good deeds cannot save us. Nuestros obras no pueden salvarnos. Pero Cristo sí puede, por su obra en la cruz. But Christ, our Savior, he saves us by his great work on the cross. The wisdom of God that he would send his own son to be our Savior. But seeing foolishness, that God would become just like us, was the greatest gift for all mankind. Si bien, todos nosotros somos como suciedad, y todos nuestros justicias como trapo de inmundicia, y caímos todos nosotros como la hoja, y nuestras maldades nos llevaron como viento. Así describe nosotros, pecadores, impuros delante de Dios, así nos encontró, pero eso es la ley que describe nuestra pobre condición. El Evangelio, la buena noticia, habla de Cristo, porque Dios, mirando nuestra condición, nos rescató. But God, seeing our condition, he sent his son. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Jesus would send the Lord our righteousness. God would send Jesus to the Lord, as, as the Lord our righteousness, and he would be our savior to save all of Israel, to save all all the world. En sus días será en calvo a Israel, habitará confiado, y ese será su nombre, que le llamarán Jehová, justicia nuestra. En sus días, cuando vino Jesús al cumplimiento del tiempo, nació del Virgen María, entonces vino nuestra justicia. Lo que faltábamos nosotros, Él vino para entonces dar gratuitamente. To what we were lacking, Jesus came to give. His righteousness. So, as we continue in 1 Corinthians, Paul tells us, you are in Christ Jesus, who has become for us wisdom from God, that is our righteousness, holiness, and redemption. Therefore, it is written, let him who boasts, boast in the Lord. So connected to Jesus are you, that he is in you, you are in him and he is in you, and that what is his, his righteousness, becomes your righteousness. So when God looks upon you, he sees only Christ's righteousness, your robe of righteousness given in your baptism. He no longer sees your sins. And even our sanct sanctified life, which is still stained with sin, is covered by the sanctified life of Jesus' perfect life. And in re our redemption also, when Jesus will come again, and he will take us from this sin-filled world to be with him forever in heaven. This is the good news that we hear from, from 1 Corinthians. You are in Christ. There's no other way. Dice, mas por él, no hay otra manera. Estáis vosotros en Cristo Jesús, el cual nos ha sido hecho por Dios sabiduría, justificación, santificación y redención, para que como está escrito, el que se gloria, gloriese en el Señor. No en nosotros mismos, no ofrecemos nada a Dios. Él nos da todo lo que necesitamos, nuestra justificación, nuestra santificación, nuestra vida en pura. Dios entonces cubre con la justicia de Cristo. Ah. Unido en Cristo por la fe, por el poder de Dios, eso es la sabiduría de Dios, que por, parece locura, que es un don gratuitamente para nosotros. Entonces, Gloriamos en el Señor, solamente en Él. This was the plan all along, but seen as, as a total uh, foolishness in the world that Jesus would not even open his mouth, that he was oppressed and afflicted, you know, like a lamb to the slaughter, he went willingly to be our Savior. Por la voluntad de Dios, Él fue a ser nuestro Salvador. So then, as we hunger and thirst for righteousness, we are blessed with Christ's righteousness. Sedientos de justicia, somos bendecidos con la justicia de Cristo. Llenados con la justicia de Cristo por la fe. We are given this great, and great gift of righteousness freely from God, so that blessed are the poor in spirit as we humbly repent of our sins and we recognize our, our poorness 
are filthy rags, then what does it say? Yours is the kingdom of heaven. It is a gift from God to you. Even now, you have this possession. Entonces, bienvenidos, dicen que lo tuyo es el reino de los cielos. Ahorita mismo, for the fe in Cristo. So, even as we go through this life and we are persecuted because of righteousness sake, because we put our faith in Jesus and we trust in his righteousness, what, is, what does God tell you? He says, yours is the kingdom of heaven. No one can take it away from you, even though you are persecuted because of, of your faith in Jesus and are you, you are pure in your heart, so you shall see God and you who mourn will be comforted. All these great blessings and those of you who then share your faith with others, the peacemakers, share the peace of God with others so that they too would know Christ crucified and Him be saved. That is the message which we, as His children of God, share with others. So, blessed are you then. Benditos ustedes son, bienaventurados. Even when they revile you and persecute you, say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake, because great is your reward in heaven. Luego síguense. Así es el premio en el cielo garantizado por la sangre de Cristo. Es, es lo que nos ofrece por la gracia de Dios, por su gran amor a nosotros. Benditos ser cristianos, creyentes en Cristo. Amen. Blessed are you, believers in Jesus Christ. Amen. We receive the offering now. And as we do, we will sing uh, the song, Give Thanks with a Grateful Heart. Especially on the verse we hear that, let the weak say I'm strong, let the poor say I'm rich in Christ, what he's done for us. Así en, en esta canción, Vamos a decir que ahora débil diga, fuerte soy, el pobre rico soy por lo que hizo el Señor por mí.
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. What a cantamos de Padre Nuestro. Padre Nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado, santificado, sea tu nombre. pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for calling us into your marvelous light and revealing your great mystery, which seems, seems foolishness to the world, but is your great wisdom and great love for all of us that by giving us your son Jesus to be our Savior, and by his death you have given us new life, you have given us his resurrection and his righteousness, and, and we thank you, dear Lord. Help us to shine, shine your love, and to be the salt of the earth sharing this good news as your peacemakers to all. We ask that you would bless those who are, who are needing your strength and healing. Pray for Karina and Jorge, and also we pray for, for Dale. And we ask your continued blessings upon my father and, and also Don Erksleth. We ask that you continue to guide us by your Holy Spirit and strengthen us as we continue to look forward to your coming. Come, Lord Jesus, soon. We ask this in his name. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. El Señor sea contigo. Lift up your hearts. Eleven sus corazones. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Demos gracias al Señor, nuestro Dios. Darselas es digno y justo. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, 
This is my body given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after he had supped, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is a new testament in my blood shed for you for the remission of all your sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Nuestro Señor, en la noche que fue entregado, tomó pan, habiendo dado gracias, lo partió, y dio a sus discípulos diciendo, Tomen, comen, eso es mi cuerpo dado por ti. Hagan esto en memoria de mí. En la misma manera tomó la copa después de haber cenado, habiendo dado gracias, la dio diciendo, Bebe de todos, esta copa es nuevo testamento de mi sangre, derramado por ti, para misión de los pecados. Hagan esto todas las veces que beben, en memoria de mí. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. La paz del Señor se con ustedes siempre. Amen. Welcome to the Lord's table. Bienvenidos.
Let's find him a safety. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Dad gracias al Señor, porque él es bueno, y por siempre es su misericordia. The Lord be with you. El Señor se con ustedes. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bendigamos al Señor. Demos gracias a Dios. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his favor upon you and give you peace. Amen. El Señor te bendiga y te guarde. Haga el Señor responda ser su rostro sobre ti y tenga de ti misericordia. Vuelva el Señor su rostro a ti y te conceda la paz. Amen. And our final song we'll sing together is No hay Dios tan grande como tú. And the translation... Uh, of this song is, there is no God as great as you.
Peace now and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Vayan en paz, sirviendo al Señor. Demos gracias a Dios. Please be seated. Sit down. Oh, thanks again for helping out, everyone. Uh, 